Hey guys, okay, so this is gonna be my I love fall tag. Let me just say, I know it's eight months overdue, whatever. Um, everyone did theirs at like the beginning of October. And I was like, I'm not gonna do it, whatever. And then I actually watched a few and I was like, oh, this is cute, because I actually really do love fall. I've just been really sad, besides the point that I'm literally Edward Cullen. I'm so white right now. Tanning makes me happy, whether it's in the bed, which I don't really do anymore because you can get like skin cancer and stuff, um, or spray tan, but I'm not tan right now. Mm. And on another note, I broke my Dior sunglasses, which is just, oh, that's really great. What a great introduction to winter. This is supposed to be a fall video, but, oh, oh, oops, oh, that's not supposed to be like that. So I'm going to go to the sunglass place and be like, give me a screw right now and put this on, and hopefully they do it. Hopefully they have, like, tiny, tiny little screws, because where do I get that, you know what I mean? Like, literally Munchkinville. But let me tell you, I kept the screw, because these were, like, they were, like, getting loose, and I was like, okay, what is going on with these sunglasses, right? And, um, they finally broke, but I kept the screw, and I put it in this box, but, oh, let me just show you what the Dior boxes can do. Oh. 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 What? Needless to say, it fell out, and I've just been kind of binge eating, because, like, of my depression and stuff, so just give me a sec. <sighs> This is really sad. Moving on, I guess. Okay, so the first question is, what is your favorite fall lip product? And I have a few lip products here, because I obviously I'm not just going to pick one. Hello! Um, right now I'm wearing Morange by MAC. And I don't know what this is. Oh, it's an Amplified. I was going to say it's a matte, but it's totally not. And it looks like this. Mm. And it's nice on a day where you're wearing like black and white or whatever, so your orange lips can pop. I guess it's the same thing for red lips, but orange just kind of is like more of a statement, I think. And a lipstick I told you guys about that I was gonna wear today, but I already did my eyes and I was like, oh my god, they're so smoky, I literally cannot wear this lipstick. This is Diva and it's a matte, and it's also by MAC. And I swear, okay, when I was using my artificial light, like the umbrella light or whatever, obviously not like natural sunlight, this was showing up so red and I was like, it looks a lot lighter and I like said that, right? And then now when I'm showing it, it's like pure the color it is. It's like a purple red. I kind of describe it as like a raspberry chocolate. And last but not least, just to kind of switch it up, this is Honey Love and it's also a matte and this is from MAC. It's kind of looking more pink on camera, but it's really, really, really like a creamy kind of caramel nude. Um, and this is really pretty for fall as well. But it's a matte, so you might want to moisturize dem lips so they're not cakey and flaky. Mmm. <sighs> What is my favorite nail polish? So I have two here. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone, every single person that did this tag put this color in, or like a color just like it. This is OPI's Honk If You Love OPI, and it looks like this. It's just a really, 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 really dark purple. Um, I have something similar to it on right now, but mine's more black. Like, mine is literally black. What am I even talking about? This is even purple. This is similar to Linkin Park's After Dark. This just doesn't have any glitter in it, but this is really, really pretty. I mean... It's just kind of a fall color. And this color I've actually never, ever, ever worn, but I was looking through my things for this tag, and I was like, oh my god, this is such a fall color. Although I don't know if it would look good on me. Actually, no, it probably would. So this is Take the Stage, and it's just a super coppery, really, really glittery color. Um, and this is super fall. Like, you're literally a leaf if you wear this. <sighs> my sunglasses are what is my favorite Starbucks fall drink? I really, really like the pumpkin spice, and I really like the caramel brulee latte. Um, I am completely obsessed. Like, I think I figured this out last year about myself. I am obsessed. If you guys have not tried, oh, you're literally gonna die. If you guys have not tried salted caramel, like, either, like, salted caramel squares or salted caramel drinks, it's, like, a next level experience. I had, um, salted caramel popcorn, and it was, like, so so good, but they put so much caramel on it. You literally tried to pick out one piece of popcorn and like three globs came out because there was so much caramel on it. I ain't complaining though. But what is my favorite, wait, did I even fucking answer that? Oh yeah. What's my favorite fall candle? I have a year round favorite candle and I'm not joking, this candle is everything. Oh, it's so good. Okay, this is Yankee Candles Vanilla Cupcake. And it looks like this, and look how little this is, but honestly, every time I burn this, my whole room smells amazing. Oh! 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 Mmm. <sighs> and P.S., can I just say this? I saw a commercial the other day for Dove, and they were, like, talking about this new body wash or whatever, and they had these little skin circle things, and they were putting them in, and then th there was, like, girls there or whatever, and they were, like, shaking them. I'm pretty sure that they, like, just emptied out the candle in this Yankee candle and used it as the prop for that, because they're, like, shaking it, and I'm like... That looks like my Yankee candle. So like Dove, Yankee candles, come on girl, get it together. But anyways. Ah!
Next question was my favorite fall scarf or accessory. I actually just got one of my favorite scarves I've ever owned. It's kind of this sheer cheetah print, leopard, I don't know exactly what this is, but it's so long and it's really, really thin, so you can bunch it up under a jacket, um, which I really like doing. And I'm kind of clashing right now with like the houndstooth and the cheetah, but you guys get the idea. Ah, oh, why do I look so busted? <laughs> God help me. And the next question is haunted house, haunted hayride, or haunted corn maze? First of all, what in God's name is a corn maze? I feel like it's the same thing as a haunted house, but maybe just with like hay outside. Okay, let me tell you guys about my experience. I just went to this place. It's called Screamers, if any of you guys are like around from my area or whatever. But basically, once you get in, you get like this card and there's like six or seven haunted houses that you can go to. And every time you go to one, they like crossed off or whatever. So you like do them all or whatever. And there's like rides, but like it's so fucking scary. Like it's like Final Destination shit. Like you know when like you're like having premonitions on the ride, you're like, wait, this seems a little rickety. This seems a little unsafe. That was what I was feeling on the rides, but I still did them anyways. I remember one haunted house that night we went through and we were like kidding. We were like, oh my God, I did too much crack before I came. I can't do this, this is too scary. Like I'm too fucked on crack. We were like shouting it to the people because we couldn't see anyone. So we like wanted to like make them talk back to us. And this guy was like, link me up. Yo, where's the crack at? Give me some. We were like, we were kidding. <laughs> and I had a really fucked up experience on a haunted hayride one time. Um, in my house in New York, there was like this barn, literally a barn, that they were like, haunted houses, um, haunted hayrides. But it was like, I feel like it was like real. Like this is like just their everyday life. Like it's not like a Halloween thing. Like they just put the sign up around Halloween time, but like there's really scary people living there, you know? So we go, I don't even know how to describe this vehicle to you guys. There was like bars everywhere. Like I'm gonna say like, maybe 30 people were on this vehicle with us and like there was bars like people could reach in and shit and it's pitch black we're going literally away from the light away from the barn going out into the field oh casually you know and then all of a sudden hmm I hear a chainsaw. It's not someone in the truck that's doing it. It's like someone from outside the field that was hiding in the trees waiting for this car to come. And they're shoving this chainsaw in. And it took me oh, so long to realize that the chains like weren't on it. It was like just the chainsaw. But it was as loud as the chainsaw. It was a real chainsaw. You need to understand that it was so fucking loud. And this guy was being so aggressive. Like he wasn't like, hey, 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 it's a chainsaw. He was like trying to cut my leg off. Like, literally. But there was no chain, so we couldn't. But, like, still, the chainsaw was hot. Next question, what is my favorite Halloween movie? Um, okay, this one I did not plan an answer for. Um, oh my god, you know what I saw recently? Okay, you guys are probably gonna think I'm a baby. I love scary movies. They're everything. I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Texas Chainsaw 3D is coming back with Trey. Songs, literally, did I cast that movie? Because that is my dream. But I'll tell you what movie really shook me. Like, I was like, wait, that's sick. Sinister. Tell me down in the comments right now if any of you guys have seen Sinister, what your thoughts were. Uh, because I tweeted before, I was like, okay, Sinister better be good because I saw Paranormal Activity 4 and it was fucking horrible. Nothing happens in it. Like, she's just literally, well, she's cute. She's like kind of like a, a Dakota L Fanning type, so I could get into all that. And her boy toy in the movie is like really, really cute. Like, not like looks wise, but like his personality is really cute. He like made me chuckle a few times. Um, but that movie fucking sucks. But Sinister, on the other hand, I'm just gonna ruin it for anybody that hasn't seen it. He basically finds these videotapes like in his attic or whatever it's like fucked up and like he plays them and it's like on this really fucking old creepy ass like um kind of player I don't know how to describe it it's like um old film it's sick like there's one called pool party and he's like drowning people there's one called like barbecue it's just disgusting and like I'll tell you the pool party one like scarred me like I had like nightmares for probably like two three days after it was disgusting that's horrible and like the fact that he like watches them before it's just sick like ew 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 I mean I'm not really scared of like ghosts and like spirits and stuff like I mean sometimes I am but I think that if you're nice like a nice person they like won't want to haunt you and stuff because like I'm at peace with them Question number eight, what is your favorite candy to eat on Halloween? Like what? Okay, this is something really weird. I can't think of my favorite candy right now, I'm sorry. I hate chocolate, it's the only thing that breaks me out. You remember those little chip bags you used to get that were literally like this big? I used to throw all of them out. Like when I got home, I would dump my bag on the table and be like, oh, these chips, get them the fuck out of here. But I love chips, like if, I, if it was now, I would have been like opening all the chips, eating them, throwing out all the candy. Next question, um, what are you dressing up as for Halloween? Um, oops. Mmm. Oh my god. 
Good one, let's stop talking. And the last question is, what is your favorite thing about fall? Hmm, I know everyone's answer is probably, I get to wear my boots and my jackets, I get to wear my comfy clothes. Like, that's your favorite part? You get to go from wearing shorts to wearing pants and boots? That's your favorite part? No, I'm gonna probably say my favorite part is maybe the flavors at Starbucks. Honestly, fall this year was kind of painful for me because I had such a great summer um, and such a busy summer and such a fun summer that like when went, when fall came, I was like, okay, <laughs> here comes the depression, you know? But I'm off to LA next week, thank God above, so I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Hey, I don't wanna like go yet, but this has to be done, so I got it. Feel free to leave your I love fall tag um, as a video response and I tag everyone who hasn't done it. And if you haven't done it already, it's never too late, so you really should. But yeah. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely leave me a comment um, in the bottom bar, and until the video, guys, next time, say gorgeous.